Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Facts on important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance, scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity, famous birthdays, famous passings, technological discoveries and how they have advanced humanity. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. So let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for April 7th. Today is day of remembrance of the victims of the Rwanda genocide. In 1994, the plane carrying Rwandan President Juvenal Abiyaramana and Burundian President Ciprian Tariamira was shot down by surface-to-air missiles. They don't know who did it to this day, but in a sense, it sparked the Rwandan genocide. It lasted a hundred days. The Tutsi and moderate Utu ethnic groups were slaughtered by armed militias. It is estimated that between 500,000 to 600,000 deaths occurred. It is definitely another horrifying event in the history of humanity. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. April 7th is also World Health Day. This day marks the founding of the World Health Organization. It's an opportunity for the World Health Organization to bring worldwide attention on the matter of global health. It organizes international events on the related theme of health. World Health Day is recognized by many governments and non-governmental organizations when it comes to public health issues. World Health Day is not only the observance that the World Health Organization brings attention to. It brings attention to World Tuberculosis Day, Immunization Week, Malaria Day, No Tobacco Day, AIDS Day, Blood Donor Day, Chagas Disease Day, Patient Safety Day, Antimicrobial Awareness Week, and World Hepatitis Day. To me, it sounds like they've definitely got our backs when it comes to health. The month of April is Sexual Awareness Month. April 7th, they call it Sexual Assault Awareness Day of Action. It is sad to say that we are so far ahead with technology, yet we still have things such as sexual assault being part of daily lives. It's not okay, and this month, each year, every state, territory, tribal, and community-based organizations, government agencies, rape crisis centers, and campuses plan events to highlight sexual violence as a public health issue, as a human rights issue, and a social justice issue with the focus on reinforcing the need to prevent such things from happening. If you or someone you know has suffered from sexual violence, take action, call for help. It exists and people want you to be okay and not have to go through this. You can find help and information by clicking the links in the description below. Today is also Coffee Cake Day. The coffee cake has its origins with the Danish culture and the German culture as well, who wanted to enjoy pastries with their coffee and eventually they said, I'd like to combine them into one. You can find a recipe and a bit more history by clicking the link in the description below. Important Historical Events for April 7th In 529, the first draft of Corpus Juris Civilis, or Fundamental Work in Jurisprudence, was issued by the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I. What exactly is jurisprudence and why is it important? Jurisprudence is the study of law, and to have a better understanding of it for the legal institutions that exist in the society one lives in. So this guy, Justinian I, said, Well, our empire is kind of big right now. We need to govern it. Let's make a standard set of laws to follow across our empire to simplify things. And boom, they have their own code of laws. It was called the Corpus Juris. This is important because it set the standard that has persisted to this day, where each form of government has their own code of law where jurisprudence is a necessity. In 1948, the World Health Organization was formed by the United Nations. It was created at the same time the first day of World Health Day was to be commemorated. The World Health Organization has a broad mandate. It advocates for universal health care to be implemented in countries where health care is scarce and or monetized, such as the United States. It helps coordinate responses to health emergencies. It monitors public health risks and promotes overall human health and well-being. Collecting data on global health issues, it sets the health standards and guidelines. Experts of their craft, the World Health Organization is an important institution that requires more of our respect and attention. After all, they're only trying to make sure everyone is healthy. 
1969, the Internet's symbolic birth date occurred with the publication of RFC 1. An RFC stands for Request for Comments. It is created by engineers and computer scientists. It describes the workings of the Internet and Internet-connected systems. Steve Crocker invented this type of documentation to record the notes while ARPANET was being developed. Ever since then, RFCs have been used as official documentation for the protocols dealing with anything internet related and its technical development. Documentation is so important and every day we should be ever more thankful for the awesomeness that the internet is. We have access to so much information that we probably have not had the opportunity to read all of the information found on the internet. And every day large amounts of information is added every second. Thank you Steve for recording your work on what you were doing. It paved the way to make continual improvements. In 1999, the World Trade Organization ruled in favor of the United States in its long-running trade dispute with the European Union over bananas. I guess you can finally say somebody went bananas. Up until this day, the European Union and the United States had a long-standing dispute because the EU made a new rule about their banana import system. It gave a first-come, first-serve system at their ports. The United States argued this would favor the imports from former colonies that were closer. The United States threatened to increase sanctions on the EU by adding more tariffs on a wider range of imported goods from the EU into the US. Then on this day, April 7th, the dispute was settled. It allowed the Central American producers of bananas better access to the European markets. The United States claimed $520 million in damages from the new import system the EU had implemented. The World Trade Organization awarded the amount of only $191 million to the United States. Fun Facts for April 7th. In 1724, Johann Sebastian Bach's St. John Passion premiered in Leipzig. In the year 2000, South African cricket captain Hansi Kronje was charged by Delhi police with fixing one-day international matches against India. Famous birthdays for April 7th. April 7th in the year 1770, William Wordsworth was born. He was a poet and became a leading figure for the English Romantic movement. In 1915, Billie Holiday was born. One of the most famous voices to be recorded in the time of jazz music. She had her own style that made her stand out to this day and is recognized as an important figure in musical history. In 1920, the musician Ravi Shinkar was born. He brought the instrument called the sitar front and center and went so far as to influence George Harrison, a member of the Beatles, with this playing of the instrument. In 1954, one of the best action stars to grace film was born. Jackie Chan. His unique style and attention to detail and being the highest paid stuntman to do his own stunts has brought joy and admiration around the globe. Happy birthday, Jackie. In 1964, Russell Crowe was born. His famous line, Are you not entertained? resounds across the internet as a meme and as a memorable line. A great actor that brought to life many roles. Happy birthday, Russell. Famous passings that happened on April 7th in 1803. François Dominique Toussaint Louvetois. He led the independence movement in Haiti. He trained the army in guerrilla fighting. He fought with the Spanish forces against the French until they abolished slavery in 1794. In 1801, he freed the island's entire population of slaves. He created a constitution and made himself governor general for life. He was captured by Napoleon Bonaparte and died in prison being denied food. The army he trained would go on to fully defeat the French's attempt to re-enslave the population of Haiti. In 1891, Phineas Taylor Barnum, famous for his title of The Greatest Showman, he founded the traveling circus Barnum and Bailey. It was active from 1871 to 2017. Circuses have been known for controversy with regards to the amount of bad publicity they generate through their treatment of animals. In 1947, Henry Ford passed. He is known for founding the Ford Motor Company. The famous Model T was mass-produced in a factory for the world to purchase. Mass production is something that was not being accomplished by other industrialists and in doing so gained significant competitive edge. As with all things, two sides are present. Henry Ford was later known for promoting anti-Semitic views. This caused his popularity to wane in later years as the United States entered World War II. In 2010, 
George Neeson passed. He was a gymnast and an inventor. His most famous invention is the trampoline, and then it becoming part of the Olympics with international recognition. Thank you, George, for many years of keeping the fun going up and down. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.